99.5 WYCD. It's Rachel Hunter, and I'm really excited to be at Kroger here today at Losser and Maple with Ben Flanick yep. and Mike... Benziger. Benziger. I, always, I want to say Benzinger. Uh, everyone reason. always throws the N in there, but there's no N. I'm calling you Mike Flan or Ben Flanick because you're probably getting sick of being called Ben the Bachelor. Very, very much so. <laughs> <laughs> very much so. Well, we're here today to talk about wine and not about The Bachelor. And I know you've been in a wine family for many, many, many years. You guys have your own winery um, in Sonoma. Right. And it's, can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so Mike and I started the, the winery in 2008 together. Uh, we started as Involve and some of our wines here, there's a very kind of, uh, you know, select number of cases we have here because it's, it's small production um, is here. But we also have the Epilogue brand, which we launched uh, later last year. And so that's what's really going to be filling the, the Michigan market. So in the Kroger stores here in Michigan, I believe it's 16 stores that have these beautiful wine cellars. Your wines are all going to be available in all of the Kroger stores. Yep. Yeah, we're in the, uh, I think it's 18 Kroger stores, the wine steward stores, and then the Hollywood markets and some select restaurants around. Wonderful. Now, you have, I believe, is a Pinot Noir, a Cab, and a Chardonnay, is that correct? And a Sauv Blanc uh, under the Involve label here. We're also going to bring in some Rosé okay. uh, for the summer months. Okay. Uh, and then the Epilogue, we have a Chardonnay currently here, and then we're working on our, our Sauv Blanc and our Red Blend to come in here pretty soon. Now, I'm like a Malbec and a Syrah girl. Are you going to be getting any of those? Uh, well, the Red Blend that we're going to be opening up in this market in the summer has uh, Syrah as the base of the blend. Now, this, interestingly enough, now I know here we are in Kroger. I can't go to the produce selection and buy grapes and go make my own wine. Like, aren't the grapes that you make and you grow in a vineyard different from the grapes that you buy in a yeah. supermarket? It's uh, Vitis Lambruca and Vitis Vinifera. They're different different animals, two different animals. You say that again. That was very sexy. Vitis Vinifera <laughs> and Vitis Lambruca. They're, you know, the table grapes and then wine grapes. They're okay. in Latin form. Oh, can you name your favorites? Do you have a favorite of your wines? Grape? Uh, I like them all. They're all our babies. We, uh, we... Give all of them TLC. I, I can tell. I can tell. No, they're, they're our children, and, and we go into places, and from start to finish, I feel like uh, we over-deliver in, in value and quality, and, and that's what we're all about. Now, if I was to go to Sonoma, or anybody was to travel to Sonoma, can you visit or tour the uh, the winery? We're closed to the public right now. There's uh, We're still a small company. There's only a, you know a, a handful of us uh, working, and so we're out on the road selling wine when we're not uh, making wine, and so uh, not enough manpower right now. How about a wine club? Do you have, have a wine club? We do. We have a pretty extensive wine club, actually. We launched it earlier this year, and, and we've got a, you know over a couple hundred members already, and it's we're actually, we fly back tonight because we have our uh, second wine club party uh, going on in Sonoma tomorrow, so we've got, we've got to get right on the airplane and head back to Sonoma. <laughs> well, congratulations to you, and I know you have a third partner, Dan, as well. He's home tending to the grapes. Okay, hold, holding down the vineyard there, I guess, as you could say. So everybody grab your involved wine. Thank you so much for being our guest today. It was a pleasure talking to you, Mike and Ben. Thank, Thank you very you. much. We appreciate it. Hey, thanks.